Hello everybody, welcome to Drawing with Waffles. Today I'm doing a traditional challenge video. So a week or two ago I saw Saku Wims did the ballpoint pen challenge where you have to draw an illustration using only a single ballpoint pen. And I knew I had to do this as soon as I saw it. It's like right up my alley because I really, really, really like drawing with pens. And if this, my newest sketchbook is actually like all pen right now. Mostly because when I draw in a sketchbook, I don't like to use pencil because it ends up smudging. And then when you go back to look at it, it's, I don't know, it's just no good anymore. And it just doesn't have that same flair that it used to have. It's not as crisp or clear. So I really like to draw with pen in my sketchbook. So I thought, this is a really good idea because I can try and draw an actual entire illustration using just a ballpoint pen. And usually when I do draw in pen, I like to color with highlighters just because there's a little bit more oomph. And I actually did a speed paint of me drawing with pens and highlighters, so you can check that out. But today I'm using only a pen, and I'm using my trusty purple pen, which is the Paper May... Paper... Is it Paper May? No, it's the Bic pen. Bic Jelly Roll? Oh, I have one right here. Oh no, the Bic Round Stick Grip Purple Pen, which I got mine um, from a store that was closing, so I got them really, really cheap, and I got a bunch of them. I basically bought out their stock. I love them so much. Anyway, um, the idea behind this drawing was I really just wanted to draw one of those really crazy dresses that you can't actually walk in, and I was thinking about, um, my mom has this box, like this old-fashioned, I think it used to have Barbies in it, because it says Barbie all over it, it's got like Barbie and Ken, and in one of the pictures she's wearing a dress similar to this, you know, I think it's called like a mermaid's dress, I'm not sure, because it's like, it's tight all the way down the leg, and then it just flares at the very bottom, so that's what I really wanted to draw, because it's like, this isn't something that I would ever wear in real life but you can be sure it's all get out that I'm gonna draw it so that's why I'm drawing it and right here I realized I really wanted to blend a little bit better and you couldn't really do that with a pen so what I started doing was right after I draw it right after I drew a few like shading lines with the pen before it had time to dry I would take my finger and just smudge it so you'll see a lot of smudging going on which is on purpose I'm trying to just add more colors using just one pen so it's, it's about like using the paper to your advantage so it looks like a gradient, like smudging together. And I also found if you, um, if you like licked your finger first and then smudged it, or if you licked your finger, um, put a little bit of water on the paper before you used your pen, it would, there'd be like different, it, it was different shades of the purple. So I like, I used a bunch of those different techniques to get this drawing the way it looks in the end. Um, here I'm just drawing her hand because she's in a very supermodel like oh what was me pose kind of like damsel in distress kind of look which is strange because like the last couple videos I've drawn really powerful women so like now it's just like I want to draw something dainty and like I don't know <laughs> that was the idea at least and I actually gave her jewelry on her arms because she had a sleeveless dress so I felt like it really she needed some jewelry on those arms they were a little bit bare and then I actually added polka dots to the top of that dress. And at this point, I realized I want a little bit more polka dots because I love polka dots. Random patterns, I don't know, I just love them all. They're maybe not as formal as this dress is, but I decided to add polka dots anyway. So I just like hemmed the dress with some more polka dots and colored them in as darkly as I could. And this is when my hand started hurting <laughs> because I was like trying to draw it really dark. And I'm doing her lips, which again, I did them as dark as I could, just so that they would stand out a little bit more from the rest of the picture. Um, I added a little bit of makeup kind of thing. It's not very easy to tell because it was, it's all in the same color, but there's, a, I tried to add a little bit of eyeshadow. Again, just make her eyes look bigger and like more feminine kind of thing. Um, and then I'm just adding lines to her hair and I added a couple random strands just sticking out all over the place and I tried to make her hair look sort of like a gradient like it was darker up at the top and it got lighter as it got down to the bottom which I think people call ombre but I call them gradients and I always will so yeah that's what I did with her hair so it gets lighter as it gets to the bottom and then at this point I don't know I felt like something was missing from the drawing it didn't feel like a full illustration it was just like a random sketch so I tried to add these little flower things because like whenever I see really well the artists I like all seem to do this. They all have, um, they just add random flowers and then it looks super awesome, but mine looks a little bit more like, I don't know, like a Brussels sprout. <laughs> but I tried to make a flower and that's how that turned out. But I tried and that's what counts, right? <laughs> so again, I'm just using a smudging technique, trying to add a little bit more softness to the sketch because it's very, very difficult with pen. 
and they had some random flowers that were like sticking out like they're um i think they're called the lily of the valley i've actually drawn a drawing just based on these flowers alone and i tried to add a few of those just to add a little bit more texture to the drawing and it wasn't just a random lady in skirt um I'm not a huge fan of the flowers. I feel like it distracts from, like, the skinniness of the dress. Like, just the figure of the character that I drew. But, I mean, like, it's not like I can erase it because it's a pen. So, <laughs> that's another great thing about pen is that it, it pushes you to finish your drawing even though you can't erase. So, it, I don't know. I feel like it's just better at experimenting. Anyway, that's the finished illustration of my little mermaid skirt ballpoint pen challenge. I suggest you guys all try this. It's very good at, um... Teaching you to go with the flow and just, you know, let the lines do what they want to do and just create a drawing and don't worry about how it's going to turn out kind of thing. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all next week. Have a delicious evening for the Bye!